Hi, Mike here. Uh, welcome to my latest video and I'm currently staying at a place called Guana Creek which is on the Carpentaria Highway on the way to Borarula which is um, on the Savannah Way going towards uh, Queensland and uh, this is a free camp. It's actually really nice. It's uh, everywhere you look 360 is uh, bush there's a, a creek down in a, a bit of a valley so i'll put the drone up and give you guys a bit of a look round. there is uh, nothing really spectacular about the camp spot it's uh, it's basically just a, a piece of uh, bitumized um like a cat like a car park if you will but very small there's a shaded area there is a water tank here there's no toilets so you have to be pretty self-sufficient um, but it's free and uh, it's a beautiful piece of uh, scenery around here so uh, I'll put the drone up in the air and I'll put some video up uh, after this introduction so you can see um, what the surrounding area looks like. Tomorrow I'm going to be heading off to Borarula and have a look around Borarula. It's uh, still in the Northern Territory. It's uh, very close to the coast. Um, so we should start seeing uh, crocodile warning signs again. All right, so um, I'll catch up with you guys in a, in a little while in this video. English Nomad here and uh, welcome back to uh, my video on uh, traveling the Savannah Way and um, as you can see I've uh, stopped again and uh, I'm staying at a place called Han River Billabong and uh, it's just around 20 kilometers east of the Northern Territory Queensland border so um, so yes I've crossed the border I'm now in Queensland and uh, I've set my watch 30 minutes forward again so now I'm two hours ahead of Western Australia um, this is a really nice spot it's a free camp it's just off the uh, Savannah way and um, it's around six o'clock at night and the sun's starting to set. So uh, I'll give you guys a, a bit of a look around. I'll show you the billabong and um, I'll explain where I was last night as well.
Last night I stayed at a place called Borula, which is uh, in the northeast part of the Northern Territory. It's uh, an Aboriginal community, but it's very popular tourist destination because it's proximity to the uh, to the MacArthur River and the river system up there, which uh, has um, very popular fishing spots for barra, for mud crab and other fish, especially at the uh, King Ash Bay. Now, I stayed there last night, I didn't get any footage, but it's, uh, it was a nice caravan park, nothing really special about it. In fact, like most of the caravan parks I've stayed at, it was, uh, it was much of a muchness. It had everything that you needed. I had an unpowered site and it was, uh, it was okay. Slept very well last night. So uh, I've traveled on the dirt road from Borarula to, uh, to where I am now. And there were some <laughs> parts of that road which were, which were uh, poorly maintained and uh, it was a bit uh, choppy in places. But uh, we got here all right. Bronson and Gizmo are chilling out now and this is the billabong as you can see um, we're not sure if there's crocs in here but I'm not going to take the chance and let Bronson swim in there but there's uh, an awful lot of bird life around here it's uh, it's very nice and you can probably hear the ambient noise in the background the bird song yeah it's very nice a lot of flies though, especially at this time of the night. The sun's setting, it's cooling down. I'll just walk back and uh, you can check out what the uh, animals are doing. I might actually get my camera on the tripod and uh, get some photographs of the sunset. I'll put some slideshow together in this, uh, some photographs in a slideshow. In this video, I got some um, some amazing shots today while I was driving. I got an absolute amazing shot of a wedge tail eagle in a tree. It's uh, so I'll put that up. There's Gizmo occupying the throne. I really do need to get more of these chairs, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't have the room to carry three chairs. So looks like I'm sat on the step again. And here's uh, Bronson. He's got a nice comfy bed there, but he'd rather lie in the dirt. Go figure. Hey, mate. Would you rather lie in the dirt? Say hello to everyone. <laughs> Good boy. Hey, he wags, wags his tail when he sees me. He's started, he's got into the habit, funnily enough, of when I walk away from the camp, even if I'm still in line of sight, he barks. I don't know if he thinks I'm going to abandon him. Anyway, they're both very happy. And she's had a bit of an afternoon nap in the camper today after we pulled up here. So my plans um, are to um, carry on going uh, east from here. I'm going to stay at a place called uh, Burktown. Or I think that's how you pronounce it, Burktown. Borktown, Burktown. I'm going to stay there. And, uh, and then I'm going to continue on the Savannah Way and head towards Cairns. I don't know how long that's going to take me because I'm probably going to stop off along the way to various different places. So, um, so that's, it. that's it for this video. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I'll put a slideshow together at the end of this video. Um, but as always, pre please... Um, like this video and uh, share this video and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing and click the little bell icon so you get the notifications when I upload a new video and as always please comment below Mike signing off see you later guys